everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of The Tech Effect. The Tech Effect. Love it. Oh, what wow. a great name. I'm Pete Techman Coman, and beside me is Mark, the bearded tech, Skian. Yeah, Pete. How are you going, Mark? Good, mate. Good. Good to be here. It is great to Finally be here. This is really exciting. Road. We've been talking about this for a while yeah, now, yeah. and so we're, this is our very first episode, and yeah, we just want to tell you a little bit, I suppose, about ourselves and the kinds of videos and podcasts that we're actually going to be making yeah. for everybody uh, moving forward. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. All right. So, Pete, tell um, me about you. Oh, my God. I thought we were supposed <laughs> to start with you. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll try anything to get out of it. Mate. Right. Okay. Um, so, a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been in the technology industry since I was 14. Right? Basically, 14. 14. On a professional level, that is. So, I got my first job at Dick Smith's at Miranda in Sydney uh, when I was 14. I did a, a work experience there with school, a one yep. week work experience. At the end of the work experience, they offered me a job and I'm like, yeah, great, I love this kind of stuff. So, but before that, you know, I was always interested in computers and, and electronics and so on. And yeah, look, for me, that's where it started. The, that, that thirst for knowledge around technology, PCs, yep. Yep. All that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's that's been my passion for a long time. I, I won't say how long because it will give away my age. So don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's been a long time. And you know, since that time, I, I my background has been home automation. So I got into that uh, programming, designing, installing, all those kinds of things. Got to work on some of the largest homes around Australia. Some amazing homes, huge homes, yeah. and. Uh, I just got to the point where I went, where to from here? Like, you know, I'm doing a $70 million home um, that's got over 100 rooms in it, lighting control, AV, Big everything house. you can imagine. It's a, it's a huge house. And I got to the point where I need a new challenge. So yeah. I, got, I got out of automation, yeah. um, and then I got into doing consulting work for commercial buildings. Um, but before all that, so in between Dick Smith and the home automation, I, I actually had an IT company. So right. back in the day when yep. computers were, uh, you know, not not in every home. It was just that point where they started to become affordable. And, you know, I thought I worked for a couple of small computer companies, building computers. And, and computer dial-up days. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that tone. <laughs> well, even before that. Before yeah. that, um, yeah, I said build these computers, and, and I would see that the companies that I was working for was just selling hundreds of computers. I thought, hey, I can do this. As an eighteen-year-old, I'm going, I can do this, right? So, I used to quite the entrepreneur, mate. Well, I just, I, I didn't look at it like that. I just went, they're doing it. Why can't I do yeah. it? So yeah. I just went out there and set up my own IT business, building computers and advertising in the trading post, right? Because it, this is pre-internet, so yeah. I can't advertise there. There was no websites or anything like that. Yeah. And then uh, built it up from there and then worked for a couple of other IT companies. And then, as I said, uh, built up the business. I sold my share of the business and I got out and I, I actually moved to the US and I worked in the US for about a year um, when the whole dot-com boom was happening yeah. and then the, the bubble burst and I had to come back home and got back in IT again. Anyway, long story short, my background is technology forever and a day, for as long live as I can remember, it. live and breathe it. Uh, I, I now have uh, my own consultancy business called InDesign Technologies. Yep. I also have another company called Gecko Analytics. So we use sensors to analyze you know, the, the workplace and, and understand how the workplace actually works, how people move around within yeah. the space. Well, there you go, there's yeah. something I didn't know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's all I know is technology, right? Yeah, so, for sure. But uh, that's me. I, I first of What's all, that? I want to know, like the whole bearded tech thing. I, oh, I okay. That, that, how, want... how did that come okay. about? Okay, okay, okay. So, um, when I, I went overseas in 2014, 15, and uh, I've been my, my wife's, you know, should grow a beard for forever in a day, and I'm like, I can't grow a beard. It's not professional, all that sort of stuff, right? And uh, my, my brother was in the army, and you know it was all shave every day, and sort of that. Then it just bred through me. Yeah. And she grow a beard, grow a beard. So I went overseas. I'll, I'll do it when I grow up, go overseas. Yeah. Now I don't have to shave. And all was good. And then um, 
I'd come back and it was good, not really enjoying it. You know, it, was, it was a grown beard, so that was kind of okay to keep yeah. it like that, yeah. right? It was, and then, uh, and then uh, I started getting a bit of pressure on from, from friends and family to get rid of it. I look better yeah. without it. And I've gone, oh, this is no good at all. So you started growing in 2004? 14. Oh, sorry, 14. 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Holiday. yeah. yeah. And, then, and then how do, how do I come up with a way to keep this thing, right? Yeah. So I've gone, how about I just brand it? Right. Yeah, Absolutely. and then and and um, there's not much under this hat, right? right? So it's, like, you probably you don't want me on camera <laughs> with with yeah, my hat off because we we don't need any lighting at all. Right, it's, okay, it's a it's a right. reflector on its own. And so um, I, I, I put the beard on and and you know and put the hat on and went. How about I brand that? Yeah, you know, I could I could just be the the guy with the beard and the hat. The and, the, and then I was just went the beard of tech and I went, hey presto, away we go. Yeah. So. But yeah, look, leading, it. leading, um, leading. Into the, I'm, what do you I'm a gardener by trade originally. So, yeah, there's yeah, there's maybe, Jim's mowing yeah. going on there. <laughs> That's totally <laughs> referring to Don Burke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no Don here whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with Don Burke, right? But yep. um, okay, yeah, just, on. We'll move, <laughs> moving right along. So, um, so yeah, look, um, gardener by trade, straight out of school. Uh, got into the to the industry, technology industry. I always had a like a fascination with technology. Yeah. Same again. My brother was he went into the army, electronics technician. And he always had circuit boards and stuff around the house, and I was yeah. looking at it and going, "That's really fascinating." Yeah. You know? But then I ended up in in gardening, and then uh, this is Chris. This is Chris. Chris. Yeah, he's yeah. Older, he's older. He's than seven you? years older than me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so at three and a half, just at the, actually the end of my trade time, yeah. out of, out of, and Chris said. Um, he was out of the army by that time. He was fixing. Uh, sorry, he was just getting into the pay TV industry. Right. It was just when the uh, the rise of Ozstar yes. was happening, right? Yes. Before Foxtel got involved. Yeah. And so he said, "Come up here, move to Toowoomba. Yeah. Um, we're, we're making some coin." And yeah. I'm like, "I'm a gardener." Yeah. So the, the the lowest award in Queensland and New South Wales was gardening. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So, so I'm you just like a, a career there. With, yeah, with I was gonna. A, oh, yeah, I was make, up smashing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> So it got straight into it, uh, and he said, "Come up here, we'll teach you how to make, um, teach you how to do it, yep. run cables, blah blah blah." So I started as an as an Ostar tech, yes. uh, moved into um, full RF. And, so, so it was Mark, the non bearded Ostar tech. Yeah, it doesn't have the same yeah. Thing. It's a bit just, too long. I just I did a lot of work out west, and right. they used to just call me Ostar. Right. So yeah. I'd, you'd go to the pub at the end of the day for a beer, and you go, "Hey, Ostar." You know, they'd be calling out across the bar, oh, yeah. you know, come and fix me, I'll start. Yeah, yeah right. Great. You're there That's tomorrow, mate, you're on the list. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got into that and then uh, did a lot of travelling around doing that. And um, then we moved into the RF world, so MATV, design, uh, and, and certainly install domestic RF. Realised that, you know, the, the lifetime of an, of an antenna yes. is at least 10 years. Yeah, yeah, and there's only least. so many antennas, yes. right? But yeah. at that point, the, the digital technology wasn't quite... Transition wasn't yeah. right, wasn't yes. wasn't wasn't there, so it was coming. But it was like, even when that happens, what's going to happen after people have been sold to about the, they need a new antenna, yeah. a digital yeah. antenna, yeah. whether they did or not, it's arguable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need a digital antenna, yes, opposed to the one you had, <laughs> yes, which is non-digital, yes. Um, so, so, uh, so we, you know, I realised that how many antennas can I do? We got to yeah. we got to branch out. So we got into, um, you know, started just. Doing research on home, it was right at the rise of uh, home cinemas, home theatre. Oh, okay. yep, yep. And so we got into home theatre, and then I went, well, structured cabling's a part yes. of that, and yep. then security. security. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's AV. Let's, AV, let's, yeah. let's do all this, yes. right? Yeah. Because we were cable runners. Yeah. And so we, we were hanging bangers, and we were, there was a few things we were very pedantic about, and that was cables had to be um, in behind walls yes. and neat. And uh, if you're running externally, it had to be straight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And wall plates had to be straight. Well, that's, it that's sounds pretty weird. simple, but I, I've seen some photos on LinkedIn of NBN installations. Actually, I don't know if you saw. I don't. Sorry to. Yeah, digress. Yeah, <laughs> but did you did you see the video in Sydney of the NBN installation where he apparently the guy couldn't get between the pits and oh, he went up scary. a tree. No, it's a, it's it went up serious. a tree, dead set. Swear to God, went up a tree, but he used conduit. Oh, that's right? important. That's a, yeah, so yeah. that makes it all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's pit here, pit here. Yeah. Apparently, it's blocked. Needs to get from pit to pit. 
Up over the tree. Tree there, conduit, saddles, bang, over to the next tree, bang, back down into the pit. It's creative. Wow. So, so, well, I, so this, this, this is this is this is the, the world we live in. Absolutely, <laughs> and the you, battles we have. You would expect that with access to the internet and, and training and all this kind of stuff that we wouldn't happen. We wouldn't come across this kind of thing yeah. today, right? Still like back every in the day. day, but now, yeah. like it's unbelievable. Yeah, so, yeah. The NBN's a, a topic. I mean, we could talk all day we, on we, that. We, you know, yes. um, we've got a whole division of our business that's that's uh, NBN. That's right, you do a bit of fibre. Yeah, quite a lot yeah, of fibre, yeah. and um, and there's quite a few uh, cowboys out there that yes. are doing things yeah. that you just shake your head. And, yeah. uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get on to that one yeah, yeah, another yeah, day. That's, that's, <laughs> so, that's a long episode. Yeah, that's that at least, be, yeah. 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 So, uh, look, we ended up in that, and, and we ended up picking up a, a job in education, a school mm. job, um, K to 12. Mm. And... Uh, and you're from, so, so just to, for everyone to understand where we're all from, well, I'm... So I'm, I'm from Sydney, based in Sydney, and you're... I'm in Toowoomba. Toowoomba. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. for people who don't know where Toowoomba is, uh, you have uh, Brisbane, which is kind of on the coast. It's southeast Queensland now. And then you've got Toowoomba, which is about two hours. Yeah, hour and a half. Hour, yeah, and hour and days, drive yeah. inland uh, up in the ranges, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right yeah. at the top of the hill. Yeah. Up the hill. Beautiful spot. Yeah. Cracking spot. Yeah. Just... Not so great in winter. No, that, yeah. that doesn't <laughs> Especially in the last, cool, yeah. yeah, recently. Um, so, yeah, look, um, we got into, where were we? Go, we're you, going. you got a job at a, a school? Being, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, got into the school and, and actually started to really realise that this is a really nice market uh, yeah. and I really enjoy it. So we took our whole business and we're now at the point now, our, our business, um, the big picture. Yes. And uh, we're really wholly and solely education focused, right. K to 12. Um, Private and uh, and Catholic and and, and what are you whatever. doing in that market specifically? Audio visual, so it's classroom. Yes. Um, we're doing a lot of performing arts, MPC, yeah. so the old basketball court turned yeah. into a uh, yeah. performing a arts a multi-purpose yeah. centre. Yeah. Uh, and we do very uh, uh, quite a lot of um, PA systems, so yeah. tones, evac bells, yep. and okay. all that sort of stuff. So making sure there's a lot, we're doing a lot of auditing and different things like yeah. that to make sure coverage is, is really good. So yeah. it's quite a um, it's quite a unique. There's there's a lot of opportunity in, in education, yep. um, so uh, and certainly in, in training and lots of stuff. Yeah. So I certainly love it, and uh, so that's where I am now, and that's that's my my gigs. So yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, that's great. yeah. So and your your focus. So your 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 whole business is focused on education. Do you do yeah. universities? Do you any higher ed? I haven't done so much yet. Yeah. We're with a little bit of nibbles and stuff coming to us, yes. but our, our real core focus right now, and certainly yeah. for the next uh, probably foreseeable future, is really just niching into yes. that K to twelve education space. And, and most of that work is is it a combination between Brisbane and and Toowoomba? Yeah, yeah. It's, ironically, it's probably um, we, we used to have an office in in Brisbane, right. and we centralised it. So our head office was always Toowoomba, and we used yeah. to, and then we started an office in Brisbane, built the Brisbane up. Uh, and but ironically, probably ninety percent of our business is in Brisbane, right. even though we centralise. Lots of travel. Yeah, lots of travel. But you know that you've you've got a, a phone, a car, and an yeah. email. There's there's not much you can't do. And, yeah. and you know we're lucky in our game that uh, we have now uh, Zoom and Skypes and Teams. Well, and you can be anywhere this, as long as you're not one of these. You can be connected. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can be so. anywhere in the world, and you can be jumping on a call. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. 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 Uh, you remember the days I used, I mean, I'm probably showing my age here, but back in the days when we had pages, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. mobile phones, yes. and you'd, you'd have to go to a phone booth and read yeah. up from a phone booth. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't well, wait for the day when, actually, I think it's coming, isn't, isn't it? Is it? They're forced green screens in the phones these days. So, so you, you can almost. Hell yeah. Actually, I think Zoom might be doing it. Right. So you, okay. can, you can almost green screen yourself right. and put in a backgr background gotcha. yep. that, uh, you know, that says you're in you yeah. know, Mexico or something like yeah. with a palm tree yeah. and a, a few pina coladas or something like that. So, right. um, yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be good if we can hack that yeah. system. Wow. <laughs> then, we, then we can be the opposite That's right. and then go and be in Mexico or something yes. like that and put a green screen behind us yeah. or not a green screen, but it just Kramer effect yeah. it and then, then all of a sudden we're in the office. Yes. So uh, yeah, that looks that looks like a, a good day coming. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> so yeah. All so, right. Well, look, that's a little bit about ourselves, yeah, for right? Sure. So uh, as I said, we're we're really excited to be bringing you all things technology, and like from all around the world, uh, from trade shows. Uh, we just want to share our knowledge and experience, I suppose, yeah. with 
uh, with the listeners. Yeah, and get a bit of knowledge audience. back from the audience as yeah, well. Yeah, that'd be really yeah. good. Too. Yeah, if, we, if we actually get some feedback, if you've got yeah. any questions, you know, write in, um, you know, either on, on YouTube or Twitter or wherever, you, wherever you're watching this uh, episode or, or listening to the episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're very contactable. We're, we're very accessible, I, I should say. So yeah, feel free to contact us, reach out, ask questions. We'd love to answer your questions and... And it said just share our knowledge. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Yeah. Can't wait. Fantastic. Watch this space, guys. It's going to be great fun. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.